Hey guys, Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are gonna to be checking out KDE 5.22. So let's get started. So as of a week or two ago, I made an elementary OS 6.0 review and a lot of you guys commented about using KDE. Now I've used KDE before. I've actually made some tutorials on turning your desktop to another theme, but I have not used it since then. And that was 5.18. And I am interested to see what the newer versions bring because I know they fixed a lot of stuff on 5.20 and up. And I know that um, when I was running 5.18, I was actually running into a little bit of an issue on this laptop. That's mainly due to uh, having hybrid graphics and also fractional scaling. Those two things caused it so I really couldn't fully utilize the system. Unless I either stayed on Nvidia or I stayed on Intel, I could not use the hybrid mode between the two. So uh, it was very difficult to run the operating system that way if I didn't get hybrid mode and fractional scaling was also an issue. So I stopped using it probably a little bit after setting up all the theming and everything. Now I decided to jump back on here because KDE is a beautiful system. I've always wanted to use it because you could utilize it in so many ways and the ways to upgrade and change stuff on KDE is so much easier than a lot of other desktops that I've seen before. So let's jump into it. Now this is Kubuntu or Kubuntu whatever you want to call it and after a fresh install this system has been rock solid. I have not had any issues with either sleep, power issues, nothing. Hybrid graphic drivers and everything work perfectly fine. Now I am using a Dracula theme and this wallpaper was found on Wallpaper Flare, which is a website I usually go to for wallpapers. And if you want to theme something like this, I can make a video on this, but just keep in mind, this is Dracula theme. That's why it's all like purple and dark. And I really do like it. And I also changed the console over to Dracula theme as well. And because KDE has quasi blur, is that how you would say it? Everything in the background looks really pretty, especially when you get this type of blur. You get it also on the menus, whoops, as well. You could also get blur on their dolphin manager. So you could see that it also has blur in the background. Obviously, if I got a brighter background, you could see it come through. So all in all, it's very, very pretty operating system. And a lot of it is very easy to tweak around. So if I was to right click onto the menu and I go to edit panel, and, and I could literally just move everything here or add stuff. So if I want to add a widget, new menu comes up and I could just look for launcher if I could spell. And you could see, look, I got application dashboard. I got simple menu, tons of other stuff. And if I wanted to change it to like a different type of menu, I would just drag and drop. And now I have simple menu. So what that means is if I close out of everything and change this back to normal desktop, this is what comes with KDE. And if I want to switch it around, this is the simple menu. So it looks completely different. You got better icons here. So it's really up to you how you want to configure the desktop and you can play around with so many things and modify it to the way you want to. So I recommend if you never use KDE, I would definitely give it a try because it's a very pretty and easily configurable desktop. Now also going into the menus, again, same thing if I go into setup, system settings, appearances, I could literally just go to, actually, I am wrong. I am actually using the Nordic theme right here, not the Dracula theme. Sorry about that. It's the Nordic theme. Uh, you could just go into global themes and search for Nordic. It reminded me of Dracula because it looks so much like a Dracula theme. But yeah, this is the theme that I'm using, the Nordic theme. And if you wanted to do anything else, you could just search through this and see what you like and use that as your theme. So it's very easy to grab new themes, not like you have to really go to a website, look for this, look for that. It's all built into the system. And if I want to go into application styles, same thing goes for here. Uh, if I wanted to use Nordic and all the other stuff, it's all here. Now I am using a particular software called Kvantum and Kvantum allows you to configure a little bit more of the theme, like where you want to blur, where you don't want to blur. And I did manage to actually download the Nordic theme for Kvantum. So this is actually managing all the stuff, the transparency. So how I got the transparency in the dolphin, it's right here, transparent dolphin view. Uh, same with other compositing stuff. If you don't want certain programs to have um, transparency, you could add them to this list. So I, in conjunction of doing application styles and the global theme, I am using Kvantum Manager which helps you make this whole thing much prettier. Now I did talk about this in my previous video when I was modifying the 5.18. So same rule applies. It's just now 
it, they fixed the hybrid mode. So now I could actually use uh, the hybrid setting for my NVIDIA. And two, scaling is fixed, fractional scaling. And it works really good. Compared to a lot of other desktop managers that I've used, uh, one of the questions I got on my previous video was which operating system is best for fractional scaling. And I am gonna make a video on that because that's actually a pretty good idea putting together all the operating systems and which one has the best fractional scaling. So far between KDE, which is the latest version, fractional scaling works great. Uh, GNOME, fractional scaling works great. And that's about it. Those two are the ones that I think natively works very well on fractional scaling. I had a little bit of issues using elementary OS, uh, doing fractional scaling. Anytime that I do normal scaling, like 100% to 200%, that works fine. But fractional scaling is where everything gets start, starts to get screwy. So I mean fractional scaling like 150 or 125%. KDE also allows you to do fractional, fractional scaling. So instead of 125, 150, you can actually do 135 instead of whatever you want. So along with all the styling that you can do, you could change all the colors, fonts, icons. Uh, this is where I had the most fun is where I go into workspace behavior and go to desktop effects where you could just start looking into what you want to do and you can also get more desktop effects if you wanted to. So it's a lot of fun just configuring the KDE to make it feel you, like the way you want it to. You can make KDE look exactly like Windows 7, Windows 10, Windows 11, or even like Mac OS if you wanted to. And primarily you can make it basically your style. Now they also have a lot of their own applications. One particular one you should take a look at is called KDE Connect, which allows you to synchronize your phone with your laptop. So you're able to get SMS messages, uh, control your phone or control the messages that you get. Basically using KDE Connect, which I don't have connected right now, but if you pair your phone to it, it's a little application you can download onto your Android phone. You'll be able to have similar effects like what Apple did for their iPhones, where you could do iMessage and everything through the iPhone with your Mac computer. Uh, very similar to what you could do. And if you have this all installed, you could do it as well on your Android phone. The last time I played around with this, like I said, I was uh, modifying it to make it look like a Mac OS. So if you haven't seen that video, it still applies. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link on the top left, probably did it earlier already. But yeah, that will still apply if you want to make it look like Mac OS. If you wanted to make it look like similar to what I have on my desktop on some of the configurations that I did, leave me a comment down below and I can make a video on how I configured it. And I'll probably have more applications in the future as well because I'm constantly modifying. I've only had it for about a week and a half. And I will be using this desktop probably for the next month or so, possibly, depending on how I feel, and put more mods into this. But right out of the box, factory install, it works really well. Now I do want to take a look into Pop OS as well and, and Zorin OS. So I might switch over to those desktop operating systems in the meantime to play around with the fractional scaling to make that video that I was just talking about. So that will be coming as well. Anyway, that is it for me, guys. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you have any questions about KDE, let me know down in the comments below. This video is mainly just an overview of KDE, and I'm urging you guys to check it out if you guys are looking for a Linux operating system to play around with. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.